The mainstream narrative around the hole in the ozone layer of Earth's atmosphere is that it is located primarily over Antarctica, was greatly exacerbated by industrial chemicals like chlorofluorocarbons, and that new regulations starting in the 1980s have helped control the threat. But now a new study claims that a new, year-round ozone hole has been detected over Earth's tropics, potentially exposing billions of people to higher doses of dangerous ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The existence of the tropical ozone hole may cause a great global concern, says Jingbin Lu. The depletion of the ozone layer can lead to increased ground-level UV radiation, which can increase risk of skin cancer and cataracts in humans, as well as weaken human immune systems, decrease agricultural productivity, and negatively affect sensitive aquatic organisms and ecosystems. All of key. Ozone depletion in the tropics is nothing new and is mainly due to the acceleration of the Brewer-Dobson circulation. The Brewer-Dobson circulation is a well-known pattern of circulation in the atmosphere that moves ozone away from the tropics and toward the poles. The author's identification of Young notes that ozone levels in the stratosphere over the tropics have continued to decrease since the Montreal Protocol of 1987 phased out CFCs, but rejects the author's notion of a new tropical ozone hole threatening the well-being of billions. The claim in this research of such large ozone sham Science should never depend on just one study and this new work needs careful verification before it can be accepted as fact. This one point that Lou agrees on, concluding, the present discovery calls for further careful studies of ozone depletion, UV radiation change, increased cancer risks, and oh, 